That was easy. Anymore. Tell me if this ain't tired enough. Now I'm just gonna check your pockets. Get your pity rope up me, you present. I have committed no crime. I fight for your country. For oh, your country? Yeah, yeah. It's some French. Oh, yeah. Ask me. Not with you. Now the fun starts. You seek to deny my freedom when I fight for yours? I seek to get paid, that's all. What are they offering? A hundred dollars? Two hundred? I wish you was worth a hundred. You're a cheap son of a bitch. I almost didn't bother. What? There must be some mistake. My name is Camille de Milmont. Yeah, well, blame your parents for that, not me. I am no criminal. I fight for you, for all of us, for our future. What? Who was that? No. Here Here's where we wipe that smile off your face, bounty hunter. <laughs> I'm already skidded. Go on, boys. Kill this son of a bitch. Too late. Then when it's already too late. Here's some advice for you. Skip the last meal. Cowards like you always spoil their britches when the noose drops. You can go to hell. Oh, I intend to. Not before you, my friend. <laughs> now, shut your goddamn mouth. Here we are. You're making a big mistake. We're on the same side. No, we ain't. Actually, we are both criminals, so uh, might be in some sense we are on the same side. I got the minimum. He ain't happy about it. Strike me down, Sheriff. Put him in the cell. You are a traitor, Sheriff Demas. Sending this Yankee against your own. Quiet down! 
It's always been all used problem. Too damn noisy for folks good. That's what we'll pay for. I guess that's what I'll have to accept then. Huh. You have not seen the last of us. What's up, Strauss? Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be rich. Perhaps, but uh, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. But for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. We're a union built on that, you know. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Okay, here we are. Damn, they have nice house and nice view. I would live here. The guy is drunk. Yeah, I have some good reason. Remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, I'm sure I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. I don't believe him. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? You gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Ah, uh, <laughs> I like doing it sober. You take. He has no revolver on him, so that's why he's probably going to his house to but take one. You take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's us handle the money first. Worry about matters later, okay? I could be fishing. Yeah. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. Now come on. Let's get us that death. Someone's here, boy. Huh. Wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there. Go fix us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy. Just do it. What? I'll look down here for our safety. Savings? Under the sink? Best place for them. Now where's them drinks, boy? Drinks ready. It's right there, miss. It's our life savings. Come and take what you owe. Okay. Don't take it. There is a fucking knife. Can I drink it? <laughs> Ouch. In real life it would be a real problem. That stab. Just leave me alone. Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. This is something in my footlocker. I can't. I've been keeping it away from him. 
Ain't that lucky. <sighs> Can I just not take it? I have like three thousand on me. Okay. Ah. I think I know the sum. And that's your cover. Ain't you the good son? You should be proud of yourself. <sighs> At least I didn't kill that father. Actually, I took even more than, uh, than they owe. God damn it, I'm so, I'm so bad. Arthur is bad, even without karma drop. Come on, girl. It's not about him, it's what about uh, he yeah. should do as a gang member. Rob people, kill people. Oh, oh, oh shit. My god, my horse! Okay, okay. It is time for this, I guess. stays with that minigun. Okay, let's rush, rush, rush and jump. Let's go away like this, yeah? So he could not shoot at us. Oh! The Moin Raiders, I suppose. Who's here? Hey, Ivan. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, Sure as shit, better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linda's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa. We are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There can be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. Uh. I'm sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Oh. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. Hello. Please, gentlemen. A senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That come down this way. Look, uh, look at the beautiful look evening. Look at the bill. Uh. Mr. Bronte is a very good friends with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the man behaves himself, you know, uh, Mr. Brante, he has a uh, thing, you know, uh, respect. Jose, my, oh my. you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. Come, come. We'll meet you out for that. Okay, okay, I'm following Mother of God. Mother of God. Oh, 
That's so rich, oh my god. This house, look at this house. The guest, look at this. He's so rich, my god. Even today's politics held the taste wars that this guy. Another guy. So, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> you can do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley. <laughs> Confederate Hobart Crowley. major in the war. <laughs> and a hero, they say, but that this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife, it's unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that will save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows. Mm -hmm. This self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. Ah. Well, we're not paid killers as such. Not in cold blood, anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. Well, none taken. None taken. <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar <sighs> They hate me. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. <sighs> but before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans? Well, we've not made any. Well, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah! Do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> hmm. Okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. That is slightly uh, worrying. I don't really like all this. What the hell is this? Enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Santa Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Let's go ingratiate ourselves. <laughs> My god, Arthur, don't be a fool. Oh. And they'd be like, bonjour, monsieur. Ah, completely different levels. Completely different. Oh. Hello. Champagne, sir? 
Of course! Alfred Lafon. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me help. Oh my god. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me help. Hold on. Hold on. Let me drink one more time. <laughs> While he's choking. And what do you do, Mr. The Oh, finally. Is full. How are you all doing? Bonjour, monsieur. It really is a beautiful hair. Hmm. I got it from Mr. Wasp. He's the finest millionaire in the state and quite the most interesting purveyor of the exotic. But don't tell anyone, sir. The women here are all desperate to know. No, it's a new shirt. I don't know it's a new You're walking away from history. Oh, she. Oh, yeah, that woman who was uh, convincing to give uh, voting rights. Look me in the eye and tell me in all honesty that I am not the equal of any man you've ever met. You're preaching again. This is Whitlow. I am. Fight more again. The, the country tore itself apart. 
And what do you think, sir? I think war is a fine way of thinning the herd. <laughs> exactly. This man is a realist. I cannot believe I am hearing this. Excuse me. It's a little unnerving the way you keep looking at me. Sometimes, sir, the innocent are the damned. Enjoy your evening. I must go see my wife. Good evening. Hello, oh, sir. How are you all doing? Bonjour, monsieur. How are you, ladies? Monsieur. Monsieur. This is quite a town that you have here, Mr. Jameson. Oh, I don't live here. I was here for you. Huh. Oh, you play. Oh, it's, a, it's my weakness, my worst vice. Perhaps you should have it whipped out of you like you advocate whipping the sin out of others. <laughs> <laughs> Not whipping, sir, working, and besides, my vice is between me and my maker. Keep winning. Every huh. gambler says that, Mr. Yeah, Jameson. yeah. <laughs> yes, I know, but like I said, the next big tournament, which I will not be attending, is for a game too rich for my blood. I may be a name. That needs something. <gasps> nice. Can I eat something, please? Please. I run a prison. The old riverboat tournaments are for card sharks and rich food. Oh. A really big stakes game attracts oil men and such, like, from all over. My pockets are not deep enough for that. You are a wise man. I'm a conservative man, at least. The fact at is, least. since the war, the government has done an awful job of preserving law and order, Mr. Jameson. I agree, Major. Well, at my prison, we are doing the best to remedy that fail. You know, my friend works in the Caribbean. He faces real rebellion. If we don't act decisively, we will endure the same here at all of us. All these garden parties and civility, they will be doomed. I believe in civilizing the masses, sir. But the first order of civilization is order, law. <sighs> it's boring. I agree. It's not law and order. We yeah. will have anarchy. Of course, I'm married, Miss Tweedy. But marriage is more business than romance. You're romantic. Ah, oh, you must talk spit. Always have been. A true romantic. A dreamer. Oh. Why don't you let me show you someday? <laughs> and you think my cousin would appreciate that demonstration? My cousin is a cold woman. I'm a very lonely man. And I am more than someone's blocking against the night's chin. Believe me, Mr. Hawksbill. Please stop pestering me. Oh. <laughs> What's going on up here? Hi there, sir. Good evening. Gentlemen. Hello, sir. Ah, <sighs> Arthur is so sick of it. Can I... <laughs> oh my god, my god. That's ridiculous. I thought I will not be able to jump like that. Now I'm, I'm wet, oh my god. I'm gonna be like a buffoon. And I wonder, will they react or not? <laughs> this trousers. Hello. Good evening, gentlemen. How are you doing? I'm just... After the swim. I was swimming. <laughs> Arthur. Hello there. Good evening, ladies. Oh, 
How do you do? Oh, I'm doing great. I love swimming. Evening, folks. Good day, sir. And what's going on here? Oh, she's beautiful. Hello, mister. How are you all doing? Mais bonjour. Where is where is Bill by the way? I can see the Bill. Yeah. It's pro it could be very much. Huh. My pleasure. Good evening. <laughs> Where is Bill? I wonder. How do you do? Okay. Okay. Let's speak with him. It ain't complex, and you, and only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. <laughs> hey, you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you, Mikula? Who's that? Come on, sleep it off. All right, okay, goddammit. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. How do you do? Yeah, nice, uh, mate. It's count to a thousand. I hope you're enjoying my party. Mayor. Allegedly. It's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but oh. you can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? Oh, Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunken on our hands. Shall we? Oh. Oh. My lord, they're fantastic. Yeah. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it for a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes, we'll find out what. And where is Bill? Oh my god, yes, it is. I'm glad I cut my hair. Now I look like a human being. I like such missions. Nice change. Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said you would sign later. Find that little reprobate chip and beat him. We're not a 
standards slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Oh. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, Miss A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Probably Bill is here, but okay, we have a new mission. That should be not hard. <laughs> Mr. Levitic is gone. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. <laughs> My call is fine. Mm -hmm -hmm. Wait. Oh. Okay, I need to go down. I need to go down. I can break a lock. I don't know why, but it's nice if I can. Mm. Well, I can still rob this place. But nothing in here. Can I jump over? Unfortunately. <laughs> this mission. I hope they will give back our guns. Here comes Lenny. All right, let's get in. <coughs> Go home. Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society pigeon shit. Huh. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Uh, Let me think on it. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> 
Back to Interesting reality. times. I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too. The mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. <laughs> we are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. <laughs> exactly. But I can smell it. Mm. I'm gonna go and smell like this bullshit. trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. Then how about we see how fast it is? First one to catfish Jackson. Oh, why not? Ready? Let's go. Okay, girl. Uh, I was not ready. But my horse counted as one of the fastest, so it's gonna be easy. Sell me. <laughs> whoops, whoops, whoops. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, okay. Okay. Some boars. Yet, Mr. Strauss. Since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. High society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, seems so. <laughs> I think my days in polite society are over. Well. Yeah, she I could just love that Bill party. Williamson at a party at the <laughs> San Denise's mayor's house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come Robin with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there, I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. <laughs> Always. It's just you and me. me. No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny, not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Huh. Very funny. What? What is that? Oh my um She was asking about him. What the hell are they done to me? Look, they in the tree line. Everybody take the boys are coming! What guns do I have what the fuck? Ah okay. Where is my second fight? Chill. 
Karen here. Mm-hmm. Uh, poor kid. Indeed. Mr. Swanson, 
Could you take this boy and bury him someplace near, blood. not too near, Fully. of course. Charles, help me with the box. We need to get this place cleaned <sighs> up. Mr. Pearson, yeah. Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. Uh, I'm oh, not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. I hope. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. He saved my life, and I could not save his. <sighs> Mrs. Adler is far braver than any of us. Mm -hmm. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. What is this? Okay. Probably alligator. 